Where does the Quran Again, define as a spider? Wait, 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 wait. I'm not going to let you off this hook. Uh, is Allah making claims in this Allah wrong way? Is Allah one essence? Is Allah one essence? Is Allah one person? Correct? Is I Allah am not answering any of your question on that. Again, no, no, this as a counter question. Is, related. is Allah one essence? Is Allah one essence? You is know what? Allah one essence? Is Allah one Stop person? Stop and I respond. I asked you a question and I'm going to answer it. Stop, 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 stop. Listen. You said essence, I ask you to define it. Don't ask me a question. What is a banana? Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to answer yeah, what's a banana. You're not, let's not, you're right. not letting me. So, I'm going to define so now, what essence is. So now define, define without essence me okay. telling you what it, something okay. is. Okay, okay, fine. I will answer the question. No, 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 no. That's not the question. I will answer, no, no. Stop, stop. I'm going to tell no. you what essence is. Essence Did is you lie when he says the Quran defines essence means something that has no beginning, no end? You said hey, that. Allah, Remember? Allah is, your, right. is one person Excuse in me. one essence. Allah is Where does Allah, the Quran... Okay. Where does the Quran define essence meaning something has no beginning, no end? Because Allah is essence. If Allah is essence. Where does the Quran say Allah is essence? Okay, so what is Allah then? What no, is Allah? You wait, make claims. What is Allah then? What is he? What is he? Wait, you what make. How, wait, 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 does that make any sense? You make claims, essence? right? You make claims. How does this make any sense? How does this make any sense? You make claims. Does this make any sense? You make claims. You make claims? You make claims? So now. I want you to first say I was ignorant of what the Quran says because I had no clue. Allah is essence. Excuse me. You said, you said, yes. essence is defined in the Quran, and that definition you gave was essence. something that has no beginning, no end. That's the definition of essence. Now, the Quran, where does it define essence like that? Is Allah essence? Yes, He is. is where Allah, is, does is, the Quran define something like that? If Allah is essence. Then essence is eternal. Then essence Where has no beginning does and no end. The Quran define essence like that. If Allah is essence, which He is. He's asking about the Quran. Give him verse. Yes, Allah is. Allah is the word of God, yes? Again, again. Where does the Quran define? If Allah, if Allah in the Quran is defined as the beginning. It's okay and, to admit that you were wrong. If, again, it's okay. You're not listening. You're not listening. You just Listen to what? Let me help you guys out. Yeah. Yeah. The term essence just means nature. Do you okay. know that? Yes. Do you know that? Yes. Now, in the context of God, of course, his essence is eternal. We know that. Thank you. Wait, okay, wait, thank wait. You. No, wait, wait. His question wasn't about Allah, it was about the Quran. Do you see the difference now? Okay. This uh, you just young man wait, 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 wait. claimed wait, wait, wait. he's so at this 19, wait, wait, wait. right? He agreed. No, he just agreed with me. He agreed that what? Essence, he just agreed to me that Allah is essence. Is that the it's definition Allah. of essence? I said no. essence just means nature. No, no, no. Again, okay. Yes, he's not helping right. you. He's, he's no, making a janaza. Said, no, but you even agreed on the <laughs> you even agreed on the fact that Allah is essence. No, no. Allah, Allah is has essence. essence. Yeah, he has essence. Okay, okay so you have okay. essence. Oh wait, wait, my bad. I I I was wording it wrongly. My okay, bad. Good, good. If Allah has essence, yes. Is that essence eternal? Correct. That, that yes, essence is eternal. Yes, it is. Yes. Okay. Okay. Now what? So let's go back. So, so we talk about so Allah. So does the Quran about? define essence being eternal and no beginning, no end? Or did you just it make can, this up? No, it can define as that because he agreed on the fact that Allah has essence. If Allah has okay. essence... Then Does the Quran define essence meaning no, eternal and everything? No. So he's not helping no, you? No, but okay. again, Hello. you're saying that Allah on, has essence yeah, yeah. and Allah is The definition is of essence, he says, no, eternal I think he's, 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 he's saying in the context essence. of Allah. Exactly. No, 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 no. Because we are talking about definition. Remember, he's talking about you are, we were talking about no, no. no. First, and then you, we we, we didn't divert. I came to give you taste of your own medicine. He keep asking for definition, so I ask you, define essence, and guess eternal, what you did? Eternal, eternal. No, no, bro, 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 is no, nature no, 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 no. I, I didn't understand what no, you were trying to no, say. The, I tell you the mistake you're making is this. We He's were asking about, bro, you were talking Manuel, about calm down, calm down. definition. We're just talking about the term. We're not talking about in context of a creation or a creator. Okay. Okay. So he's talking in just the term itself. Stone. I asked him, does yeah. he have essence? He but said just yes. The term. But we, this Brother, the listen, of listen. God, but we were we talking need, about God. Okay. So say like that. We were, because that you're talking context, cross purposes. You after, you you're, talking, after. you're talking. You're talking cross purposes. The context of this whole thing was yeah. about God. So the term. We when when Mansur asks you about essence, he's talking as isolated term only. Yes. Okay, so when I use the term nature, for example, yeah. your nature, yeah, yeah. or the nature it's of the ground, or the nature of the yeah. trees, yeah. Yeah. everything has essence, everything yeah, yeah. is not nature. Right? I agree, Good. yes. So certain essences, certain natures are created, certain are, but in the case of God, His nature is eternal, we know that. But when He's asking you about the definition, then you should use a, just the term. 
without context to anyone. That's what I said. That's what I said. I have. Is that what you're asking, right? Okay. Yes, you asked me if the rock. I am asking you about. So I, I said, use the dictionary. Then. Right. No, the context was about God. He should have already understood that we were talking about God's essence. By the way, I am. I am referring to something. You no, believe you talking about yeah. God. The context was about Before God. Before you answer, it's it's probably better for you to understand the question first of all. Okay. So there is a tripersonal one God being in your belief system. That's together. When they're together, that's how many gods? Not three. How many? One. They're only one God when they're together. Individually, is that one God? Hundred percent God the Father. I didn't ask you that. We identified what we mean by one God when they're together. Yeah. Yeah? yeah. That's what one God is. One God is when you have Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. When you have one less, do you have one God? No, you have less. Is that difficult to understand? It's too terrible. So now the Father is less than one God. How is he less than one God? Because one God is when they're together. Son and the Holy Spirit, when they're, they're together, together with the Father, so individually, distinctively, the Father is not the whole one God. How did you conclude to that? The Father is a hundred percent. What's so difficult to understand here in this example? Because you keep, you keep is the Father whole Godhead? The Father isn't the whole Godhead. I'm saying ah, the Father, good. Son, and when did I ever say good, that? Good, good. You keep implying that. Good. So now, good. So the Godhead is one God, right? Now we got it eventually. The Godhead is one God. Okay, if the Godhead is one God, individual members of the Godhead, are they one God? Are they Godhead? They're not Godhead, of course. So are they one God? This individual is part of the one essence. The Godhead is one God? Yes. The Father is not the Godhead. Is he one God? Father is part of the Godhead. So he's part of God. But when I say part, I'm saying Maybe he's fully God. To he's a father fully God. When I say part, oh, I said, refer to 100 Is the Father the fully Godhead? The answer is no. So the Father is less than... If you're not full, you're less. If we conclude to the fact that the Father is fully the Godhead, then after the Son and Holy Spirit will be belittled. No, he's and not concluding, he's asking I'm you asking. the question. I'm asking, is yes. he the fully Godhead? No, he's not. I've been saying it so many times. No, he's then, not the if, you, if you're saying no, then he's less than the Godhead. He is not less than the Godhead because he is in the Godhead. He is in the divine essence. He is in the divine essence. The if Father three... and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Okay, imagine this. Imagine if you have a pizza okay. with three slices. Yeah. Okay. He yeah. likes pizza. And I remove one one slice. Is it the full pizza? But we don't remove the Father. We don't That's the question the he's asking. But we don't remove them. Who okay. says we remove them? So one wait, piece wait, wait, is wait, not the whole of pizza, so, is so it? So one pizza slice is not the full pizza. Do you agree? Yes, I'll agree. Okay, so the Father is not fully God. Because fully God is so the Godhead. We don't remove it. Don't I didn't we ask you to remove it. Keep, keep, keep it. Keep it. Keep the pieces there. Yeah, but still, pieces there. still yeah. one piece is there. So you have a piece of pizza within the three pieces. Okay. That one piece is not the full pizza. Yeah? yeah. So that one piece is not the full pizza. So that one person, the father, is not the full God. But the fact that you're, you're belittling God... I'm not belittling. I'm making you understand no, by analogies. No, no, no. By analogies. That's why you use... Oh, the Trinity is like water, vapor, oh, well, ice. It's like again, egg, yolk. Again, Who does that? Again, Christians. So we are helping you with your analogies. But you're implying that we remove. We remove. I didn't say remove. Okay, keep it. Again, keep your keep, pizza. Keep it. Yeah, we'll keep it. Keep the pizza. Yeah, keep that the pizza. one piece of pizza within pizza. the three pieces. Yeah, yeah. Is that one piece the full pizza? You know, it's part of the full pizza. It's, it's still a hundred. It's still a hundred percent pizza. Yeah, it's still a hundred. But you know, it's still when you say part of, that's in. No, that's the heresy of partialism. No, 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 I know, no, no, no. But when I say part, I mean a hundred percent because it's still a hundred percent. It's still a hundred percent pizza, correct? Is it the whole pizza? It's a one piece, hundred percent pizza. It makes up the whole. Is pizza. it the whole pizza? It makes up the whole pizza. So it's it not the whole pizza the whole then. Pizza. So it's not the it whole pizza makes, then. So obviously, it's not the whole pizza. I never Good. said that the Father is the whole then, Godhead. I never so, said that the Son is so, the whole Godhead. So now, I never said that the Holy Spirit is the whole. So we come to a point where the one God is the Godhead. That's the one God. When the Father is not the Godhead, he's yeah. not the one God. He's a hundred percent God. I don't understand. When I say sorry, don't, okay, you keep let's you, leave it you, there. No, no, you no, keep let's saying, leave it there. No, 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 no. So you You're young. No, 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 no. Let's come again. No, no, let's come no, no again. there's no point. You keep saying that if the Father isn't the bring it closer to Godhead, one. then he isn't one God. But again, I'm saying. Because you identify with this one God is the Trinity, the no, Godhead. When you the if you're not the Trinity yourself... Wait, wait, wait. Actually, let me use the pizza analogy to you. Yeah. 
So I'm, slice, I'm feeling so hungry the, now. Uh, yeah, pizza. The pizza. Okay, let's right. talk about the pizza. Right, let's talk about the pizza. So say if we slice the pizza into three, three yeah. slices. Okay, say there's like three pizza slices, yeah? Say those three pizza slices. Yeah, yeah. Make, those three pizza slices make up the whole pizza. But those individual pizza slices are still 100% pizza, which make up no, no, the, the whole pizza. No, 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 the 100% pizza. That was pizza, never the question. 100% pizza. We are not talking so about, the, keep, we are not about the, the essence of the pizza here. We are talking about the... The whole pizza. Yeah, the whole okay. pizza. So each slice, yeah, each slice, each slice is yes. one third. Do you agree? Do you know math, right? Yes. Yeah. So Are one, you sure? One, <laughs> no, no, it's okay. So one third, one third, one slice is one third of the pizza. Do you agree? Or one whole yes. pizza. Okay. Okay. Right. So two slices is how much of the pizza? Wait, this analogy won't work with the Trinity. Then. This analogy won't work with the Trinity. Okay. We don't say that the Father is a third of the Godhead. We don't say that the Son is a. Third. But you call it one person, right? No. You one call the Father one person. Yeah, we call the Father one. That's person. fine. So we are we are saying one person. Is one person the whole of the Godhead? The whole of the Godhead. The answer is no. He's a third of the Godhead because there are three persons. Hey, Salaam Alaikum. How are you? How are you? Okay. How are you? Sorry, you sure, right? Good to see you. Sure, long time. Yeah. Long time. I like to see you in action. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking about pizza. Don't get hungry. So talking about Trinity with an example of a pizza. Yeah. One piece the of the pizza is not the whole of pizza. That's I'm right. trying to make this uh, friend of ours understand yeah, that. He understands it, I think, but he's just denying it. No, 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 no. Uh, but, the fact that, no but the fact that you guys are saying that a third of the pizza makes up a whole pizza, this analogy is not the Trinity. Yeah. 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 God. Three persons make the Godhead. One person cannot make the Godhead. That means one person is what? Less than the Godhead. So whatever they're less in, they're no longer God because they're less. I say that they make up okay. the Godhead. By the way, they I think make we... up the Godhead. Yeah. That doesn't mean so they're together they're God, right? They're in the essence. They're they're together they're God. The, the, the father, Individually, they're not. No. Let's move on from the pizza and the Godhead. Let me ask you this. You believe as a Christian, you'll go to paradise, you'll go to heaven, right? Yes. Okay. Will you see one God or will you see three persons? I'll see three persons. Okay. Actually, actually, no, 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 uh oh, wait, 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 wait. Uh oh, I wouldn't. No, no. That's that we don't know. We don't. You don't know that. We don't know. Okay. Don't so know. when you worship, do you worship one God or three persons? We worship one God. Not three persons. In three persons. So if I call to the name of Christ, then I'm also calling in the name of the Father and the Son uh, and the Holy Spirit. Okay. How many persons did Jesus worship? <laughs> Worship one God, the Father. How many persons did he worship? Listen to the question. Jesus, wait, wait. Jesus doesn't need to worship himself. Actually, he, he did. He prayed. Do you uh, know? Pray. Okay. Do you know we, prayer? Wait, wait, wait. When we were talking before, yeah, yeah. I explained to you the context of what, our, what prayer means. Us. We have two definitions of prayer. So, for example, when I asked the saints to pray for me, to intercede for me. Oh, you're an Orthodox. Yeah. yeah. I, I remember now. Okay. Yeah. So I, I, I pray to the saints, not in the same way I pray to God. When I pray to God, yes, I'm worshipping God. But that was my question. How does Jesus pray to God? Whom does he pray to? Yeah, he's just communicating. In no, this, no, 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 no. Do you know how he communicates? With his forehead on the floor. Okay. Right. Is that not worship? That's not worship. Okay, would you, would you prostrate on your face to anyone other than God? No, I wouldn't. Exactly my point. You know why? Because you would only worship God, no one else. Not even your saints. That doesn't, that doesn't necessarily... No, no, wait a minute. You just answer the question. I asked no, actually, you. Actually, no, no, no. He went a little further to the ground. Yeah. Because he was. Let's actually open. Let's actually. No, no, actually. Let's open. He up. prayed with his no, 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 face no. on the ground. No, what no, more no, you want? Because, if that is not worship, I don't know what is worship. You know why? Because when a human being, for him, the face is the most important part of his body. Yeah. And when he actually submits with that face, even like this, you know, like the Japanese they do, they're showing you reverence. Yeah. They're showing you respect. Yes, but when you actually wait, wait, wait. fall down on your face on the ground, that's the ultimate submission, which we call worship when it's addressed to God Almighty. Okay, so this is in the Garden of Gethsemane when he's asking yes. God to take the cup away from me. Let it be your will be done, not mine. Okay. So we we go back. We how go many, back. How many wills did Jesus have? Yeah, I think we should ask him that question. How many wills did Jesus have? Christ as a person. Let's ask first, how many wheels are there in the Godhead? He fell on his face. Yes. Yeah? Yes. He fell on his face. And whom did he in pray to? In the he prayed to the Father. Exactly. Who is the Father to him? God. God. But the, but, but wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait a minute. Wait yeah. a minute. If the Father is his God, and he's like in total submission. Uh -huh. Wait, wait, wait. And he's in total submission to his God. Yeah? yeah, yeah. That means he's worshipping him, right? Yes. Good. So, uh, 
Again, 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 again. Let me, let me go back. You wouldn't do it to anyone other than right, God. Listen, listen, listen. And Jesus wouldn't do it to anyone other than God. Just and the I, Jews in his time do, wouldn't do it to anyone other than God. So all of this just, points to one uh, thing, that, that they be, only worship one be, person, uh, which is the Father. There will still be people who can do that. Just because I don't do I'm not talking about the heretics. Uh, uh, just only because, the heretics worship uh, other than just God. Because, just because can I you, personally... Can you give an example of, just because, of what Jesus would have to do to say this is worship? Because you're no, no, you already agreed it's a worship. You know, okay, he says no, he says no. So you don't think you don't think prayer wait, wait. you don't think prayer to God is worship? No, I do think that. We have two definitions for prayer. But I'm not asking your definition. I'm talking about Jesus. Not asking about your definition. What does Why? Jesus have to do so that you can say, oh, he's worshiping God? Give an example of what he has to do to but say Jesus that would worship God. Once again, Actually he does. As a human, he prays to God, as a human, which is worship. As a human, it's communication, what? same way the Father can communicates. I, can so when you pray, it's just communication. Just want to clarify something. Yeah, go on. What would he have to do to be clear to you that that signifies worship? Right. Say so, something that you would have done, if and that would be sure. If he offers a sacrifice in the temple, if he goes to the temple to worship. Did he do that? He never offered it. Why would Christ never offer the sacrifice okay. in the temple? Shall I show you why it's worship from the, from the words of Jesus? From the words of Jesus himself. Shall I show you why it's worship? You keep saying it's worship, but worship for us isn't just necessarily. No, no. When praying. you address. It's all, back then, you listen, listen. When you address. Sacrifices in a temple. Hold on, hold on. No, 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 no. Because this is what is like. No, because you keep. You keep coming to us using your Islamic perspective saying that only prayer oh, so prayer is only prayer. our perspective not yes, yours no because for you Seriously. guys prayer is just worship okay? it is worship that, okay okay but in Judaism in yeah. second temple Judaism prayer wasn't the only form of worship so whom did the Jews pray to if, if no listen if Christ Manuel whom if, did the Jews pray to listen let me finish yeah. if Christ was worshipping the father and if Christ wasn't God then he would have went to the temple and he would have offered a sacrifice okay that that's your definition that, now let's see Jesus' definition, shall we? But the Bible also hold on, hold on. You gave your definition. Offering, offering manual, manual, to manual you're repeating no, yourself. Jesus, calm down, no, no, calm down, okay. calm down. You gave your definition. Okay. Let right. me give you Jesus' definition. Right, Jesus okay. Definition? When Jesus was asked, how shall we pray? Okay. What was his answer? Uh, he gave the most prayer. Yeah. Good. Did he mention any sacrifices? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Uh Spanner in the works. Spanner in the works. Wait, 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 wait. Was that? <laughs> no, they asked him about prayer. You're asking me, you're asking me. Let me show you. You told me, let me show you Jesus' definition of worship. Yeah. But then you brought to me when somebody asked Christ, how should I pray? And he gave But you me agree prayer. with me, prayer but was where, worship. No, 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 no. no. Do you disagree where, prayer is worship? No, but where in that context did Christ say that this is worship? Okay. Where did he say that Hold this on. is worship? First and foremost, That's let's agree on the definitions of the term prayer. Would you pray to anyone other than God? No. Thank you. Would Jesus... Actually, hold I, on, hold on. In our no, no, forget about your true perspective. Uh, I don't uh, care about your perspective. Right. I care about Jesus' perspective. Would okay. Jesus pray to anyone other than God? Jesus prays to all... But Jesus is God. He just communicates. No, just answer the question. Yeah, yeah. He prays, just he answer, prays answer the, the question. Father. Just yeah. answer the question. He prays to the Father. Is I the Father his God? The Father is his God, correct. And the, Thank you. Yes. Hallelujah. And now we need to dive into <laughs> metaphysics again. Now we need to dive into That's metaphysics. Again, That's metaphysics. Again, 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 again. But if the again, Father is his God. Now we need to dive into metaphysics. The what father metaphysics? And the, the Father and the Son don't don't have opposing, you know, wills. They don't have really? opposing wills. Really? Really? Okay, no. you're gonna what happened in the garden? You're going, okay, again, not my will, but your will. Yes. This was just so if they have the same will. This was just Christ showing, showing what? his human nature. That he was God in How many wills did Christ possess? Yeah, good one. He had one composite will. One theandric will. Huh? One theandric will. One so will or more than one will? One theandric will. What does it mean? So, again, so his human will and his divine will. Oh, two wills. So he's got two wills. No, he's got one up after the hypostatic union. Yeah. He only has one theandric will. Okay. So you said union. Which will is it? The divine or the human, or, or a mixture of both? It's a one. It's one theandric will. Yeah, which means you. Which means which consists. Which consists. I you what the yeah, which, consi yeah. which consists of the human will and his divine okay, will. Okay. So good. The composite will. What? One composite will. Okay. United into one. Yeah. Same not thing. Mixed, composite. One composite. One composite will. So when it says not according to my will, that's a composite will, divine and the human. <laughs> uh, listen, listen. Again, you're not understanding. No, no, you're not understanding. Showing you that he, he, that he is God in That's human. why this man. Again, yes. again, again. This is Christ showing. Come on, Manuel, be, be again, sincere, man. Come this on. Is, this when is, Jesus said, My again, will. Again, 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 hold again. on, hold on. Yeah, yeah. When Jesus said, My will, not your will, the term, the phrase, My will, is that the theantric will? 
Yes. Okay, so it includes the divine will, right? Exactly. It includes the divine will. So his theantric will He's identifying is, is it different will. to that of the father? Is it different to that of the father? Uh -uh. He submitted. Well, is it different? Again, 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 again. Come again, on, just answer the question. Again, you know I'll it. Answer, I'll answer the question. I'll answer the question. I'll answer it for I you. I will answer. I'll answer. I'll answer. I'll answer. I'll answer. Let, okay, I like this kid. Okay, let, you know, he knows more than many 19 year olds. So, mashallah, I give him that credit. So, you get to push them. Huh? Yeah. I've been to, I talk to people, they know this more, more than me. They'll be yeah. able to explain it better. But I'll explain to you yeah. why. By the way, those people bring them to Dawah Wise Channel on Thursdays at 5 p.m. Ananda came to you one time and you ran for Who? Him. Orlando? Ananda. Yeah, Luke. You know Luke, Ananda. Who's Luke? The guy with the long hair. I don't know Lucas. He, he came to you one There are so many Lucas. Ask to our first Ask him to come on our channel really? during the stream. There's a video of you getting shook and scared to talk to him. Shook? The one. Yeah, you got shook. I don't speak to him. many people. Doesn't mean I'm shook. You got scared to talk I choose whom I speak to. Who's Orlando? Who's Luke? I don't even know you. Know. Seriously. So, so I will bring you so Yeah, tell him to come on our stream. The will, the will, the will of Christ which is the Andrick will. 5 p.m. on Dawai channel on Thursday. A, a, Bring him. Let's see if he runs or I run. Good. A human and divine merged together I'll in some kind of you. unity. He says, not according to my will, but according to your will. Is there two different wills identified here? The yeah. answer is obviously yes. Again, this is Christ showing that he is God in his human nature. Yes, he submitted to the Father's will in his humanity. In his By the way, are the wills in... Forgetting is his will independent of the Father? No, they share one will. Okay, so let me ask you this. If they share one will, that means they are individually not independent, right? Okay, so if the father wanted the leaf to be green and the son wanted the leaf to be red, whose will will take precedence? Or they can't do it? If, 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 the, if the father wills something, then the son also wills that. No, it does. Not that. necessarily. If they, will, if they shared one will, then. If they shared one will, then whatever the father Manuel, wills, Manuel. The son if they shared one will, yeah, yeah, yeah. then Jesus wouldn't need to put his forehead on the ground again, and ask him, yeah, let it be your will, not mine. Again, because this is him showing that he is God in his human nature. He he's not he's if he's, he's God, he couldn't. He didn't need to pray. Because now you need to understand our concept of why Christ, why God came down to earth. Manuel, if he wanted he to show. Listen to this. If he wanted to show people that he's God, the last thing he'll do is pray to God. Again. <laughs> you know that? Again. Do you realize that? No, 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 no. Again. God doesn't need to pray to anyone. I, I agree with but that. But Jesus in the did. Of worshiping, but Jesus oh, did thank you. Did. Finally, he says yeah. worship. I said in the context of worshiping. Thank you. So Jesus did worship. worship the Father. No. Okay. He submitted to his will in his humanity. That is what worship is. No, 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 okay, how do you define worship, by the way? How do you define worship? worship? Okay. In this, go into liturgy. Take Sorry, going to where? Liturgy. So, for example, Second Temple Judaism. Yeah. They would go in the context of worshiping during that time. The Jews would go. To How do the you temple. worship? How do you worship? Me. Can you, you go to the temple? temple? Yeah. You, you go to the temple? Listen, listen, listen. Yeah, I go to the temple. I go to. And you sacrifice the animals? No, 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 no. When Can I say you temple, worship without a temple? Liturgy. Huh? Can you worship without a temple? Can I worship? If there was no temple, then yes. I, so you I, can't I, worship if there's no temple. Without a temple. I'll be praying. I'll, I'll Thank you. I'll that is worship. I'll be taking exactly my point. No, no, no. But in the context of today, we are the temple, regardless. So you pray, but, right? Yes. I and pray. that is worship, right? Yes. Thank you. I just rest but my case. Again, during that time, yeah. prayer wasn't the only form of worship. Okay, we need so, to understand. So let me ask you this. Worship also consisted of. No problem. You can't, no, no, no you problem. Can't just no problem, bro. All the, all of all the prophets of God. Listen, listen, Manuel. All the prophets of God. Yeah. Okay. Whom did they worship? A triune God or Unitarian God? Okay, where in the Bible does it say they worship a triangle? Okay. okay. A Trinitarian Bible. Uh, this no, no, is even the, this even is there. Does it exist? It's not diverging. It's about no, no, worship. No, 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 no. It's about worship. No, no, this is diverging from the topic. I'm explaining. They don't like the Trinity. No, is I'm it? explaining to you. No, no, I'm explaining to you what worship is, and you're diverting. To I'm it. not. No, you're saying. I, I asked, where in the Old Testament? You the said. Worship wait, wait, wait. You made a claim. No, I'm asking. I'm telling you. Why are you shouting? Come down. You made a claim that they all worship a triune God. You said that. That is your claim. You're not letting me. Yeah, that's your claim. Now prove it. But the original topic was what yeah. worship is. Now I'm trying to explain to you what worship is during second. But your definition is not from the Bible. Yes, it is. Okay, show me the oh definition. Of... You see, you see the okay. Jews in the. No problem, no problem. Show me where in the. Oh, yeah. You know, just like the way you asked let's me earlier. Go, uh, where does it say that is worship? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Make sure he says this is worship. Yeah, let's go to Exodus. Oh, you went to the Old Testament, not yes, Jesus. Because all oh, my days. <laughs> Did Jesus, Jesus not tell you what worship is? Oh, yeah. Let me, let me, let me Did Jesus tell you what worship is or not? 
Let me slow down. Him saying how to pray to the Father doesn't mean that that's the only form of worship. I never said that was the only form. But you're, you're, you're what it implying a form of, that. But what is a form of worship? Yeah, it's a form of worship. Good. But again, in our so perspective, then we agree. regard. Okay, again. But that doesn't mean that alone is worship. It also has to consist of the other things. For example, going to Did the Jesus temple, say that? Going to Did the Jesus temple. say that? Yes, in the Old Testament. Go oh, Jesus said that go in the Old Testament. Go. Yes, Jesus is God. Stuck for Allah. Anything like goes now. Again, listen. By that Jesus, definition, Jesus, Jesus also told the Jews to kill women and children and the animals. Yes, because Jesus is eternal. Obviously, he's the person telling Moses to... So all those genocides in the Old Testament was Jesus? They weren't genocide. You're taking them out of context. Killing babies context, is not genocide? No, no, no. If we read the context, that isn't the okay. case. Let me ask no, you this. No, no, this is diverting. You're diverting from the topic again. What does killing babies have to do with what worship is? Let it's got to do with Jesus. This guy don't let me explain what worship is. Okay, go on. Is. Make sure again, it's from the Bible. Okay, exactly. The yeah. old, it's the Old Testament. The but Bible. not from Jesus, right? Is the Old Testament the Bible? Is the Old Testament the Bible? Show me from the Old Testament. Go on. Show me from the Old Testament. Go on. I'll go to the rules that Jesus who is God gave to Moses. Make sure he says it's worship. Liturgical worship. Liturgical. Okay. Yeah. While he's doing that, by the way, he clearly said Jesus is the God in the Old Testament and I agree they, they believe that. So everything that happened in the Old Testament, yes? Don't That's say it's just the Old topic. Testament. Another it is actually topic. Jesus That's doing it. Topic. That's fine. You carry on doing that. I'm That's speaking to the topic. camera. All right? So every killing, for example, the Amalekites when they were wiped out according to the command of God which included Jesus according to him, so the, said to, Jesus said to kill every male, every female, every child and every infant and the donkeys and the oxen as well. All of that was actually from Jesus. And if you think that is not genocide, another then topic. he's just being That's like the Israelites topic. today. Okay? In Palestine, they're saying it's not a genocide when the court, International Court of Justice. Bro, you got a homework to do. Find the worship yeah, in there. So don't divert. Now what I'm saying is that if this is their belief, then they call, don't call it genocide. You know why? Because Jesus is involved in that equation. When Jesus is involved, why should it be called genocide? Even though it's the exact definition of genocide, okay? Killing a particular race, a particular tribe, the Amalekites. And in another place in Deuteronomy, he says, do not leave anything that breathes. That is all the doing of Jesus Christ. Then the, okay, Exodus chapter 25, offerings for the sanctuary. Where does it say his worship? Then the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, speak to the children of Israel, that they bring me an offering. From everyone who gives it willingly with his heart, you shall take my offering. And this is the offering which you shall that you shall take from them: gold, silver, and bronze, blue, purple, and scarlet thread, fine linen, and goat's hair, ram skins dyed hair, badger skins, Where's and the oh, I got it. Wood. Sorry. oil for the light, and spices for the anointing oil, and for the sweet incense. Onyx and stock. Okay, this is just talking about. Nothing about worship so far. Carry on. Well, maybe in that time you will find this is hard worship. This is, yeah. Continue talking to us. Yeah, 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 yeah. So right now this is talking about. Brother, so right now go home and do your homework. You're right wasting your no, no, time. No, 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 go wrong. Go wrong. Stay here. Prayer is worship. You already agreed. Let's Wait move here. on. It's a Wait form here. of worship, like you said. Wait here. And today that is the only and form they, you can do. Prayer. Temple. And they shall make an ark. Okay, so he's talking about. So this is talking about how they should make the temple. Yeah. So and nothing about worship. When you go to a temple, what do you do in a temple? Bro, just show me the when worship. You, wait, wait. When no, you no, no. To, I don't want the explanation. I will. I'm showing you how yeah. they're first building the temple, and then it's going to get onto the past what they do in the temple. How do you worship today? I go to I go to liturgy. You go to the do, church. Yeah. Yeah, and then do same what? Same way. They, same way. They no, no. What do you do in the church? Yeah. I take in order to worship, what do you do? I, I take communion, the body, the body and blood of Christ. Sorry, the blood and the body. Yeah, the blood. And okay, the body of that's a bit cannibalistic, isn't it? That's another topic. <laughs> another topic, yeah. What does that mean? Is that, is that worship for you? Again, no, no, is that worship for you? That's part of being in communion with God. That's fine, worship. but is that worship yes. for you? Yes, good. Being now, in communion with God. Now, wait, worship. after that, what do you do? After that, they go around the incense and then we pray. Our, incense, our prayers are set on the incense. You pray, you pray, right? Yeah. Yeah. Is that pray, a form of worship? We pray, we sing. That's fine. Is that a form of worship? Prayer? A form of worship. Good. So we, we agree then. You can't do that alone as worship. That alone, That's according to your church. That alone the Protestants can actually. Okay, but here, here in the Bible, when we see that... You haven't shown us worship we, yet. Again, here they're building the temple. Yeah. Here God is telling them what to do in the temple. What do you do in a temple? Do you just sit there and just like, you know, think it's some kind of show and you do nothing? I never said it's a show. Exactly. You worship it's a prayer. God. Prayer. You worship God yes, in the through temple. prayer. 
Yeah. With all the traditions. All the That's fine. All the traditions. That traditions are not the same as yours. Yes, they are. The Jewish traditions. Wait, wait. The Jewish traditions of, the t of today okay. aren't the same. So, can you show me anyone in the Old Testament worshipping a triune God? Because that was a claim. Again, what? No, that's not the whole topic now. That is a claim. No. How? I ask you, Again, whom did they worship? You, I'm sure. I'm telling you what worship is. And I got to. Actually, you did not show me what worship is. I did show you. No, what the, worship is. you. you I, when you go to a temple, what do you do in a temple? Okay, can I answer that without interrupting? Good. I wanted to see where anyone calls it worship. What you have done is you implied this is worship without explicitly anyone stating that is worship. Am I right so far? You implied that is worship. So I'm, all, I'm looking for explicit, not implicit evidence. You do not have impli uh, explicit evidence, but I do have explicit ev evidence of Jesus worshiping and praying to his God. He even addresses it as my God and your God. Yes, in John 20, 17. Do you remember last time we spoke about this? Yes, yes. Okay, so if, if you call somebody your God, is that your God or not? Manuel, yes. if, if you call someone, if you address someone as your God, yes. is that your God or not? Yes, the Father is the God of the Son, and the Son is the no, God no. of the Father. What? Again, but they don't have opposing views. When I say that, the they, father don't have, is a, they don't have opposing wills. Wait, wait, wait. They don't oppose the Father is a God of whose? The Father is the God of the Son, and the Son is the God of the Father. Hypothetically, hypothetically. What do you mean hypothetically? On theory. Are you? No, no, no. Okay, again, wait, wait. Again, 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 Your again, church again. will throw you out again. if you say that to them. Okay, go on. You'll be no, they won't. They won't. You'll be excommunicated. They no, they, no, no, I wouldn't. Okay. Because again, By the way, when I say that, they are you sure about that? Will. Are you sure? Are you yes, sure about that? Yes, I'm so sure. So the Father has a God, yeah? The Father is the God of the Son. The Son is the God of the Father. Okay. But when I say How many gods that, have you got? they don't. They don't. One God. I say they do have opposing views. Again, listen, when I say that because they both they are both make up one divine essence, that's why I say that. No, no. They, because if they somebody don't has a God, Manuel, you know, you're closing your eyes and shouting doesn't matter. Come down. Listen, okay, listen to this. When you say the Father has a God, yeah. what do you mean by that statement? Does that mean the Father worships the Son? Okay, if you have a God, would you worship Him? Yes. Good. If Jesus has a God, would Jesus worship Him? If Jesus wasn't God, no, no. and if He had a God, then yes. He but Jesus does have a God. Has a God, Good. but he is also God, and they don't have opposing views. A God doesn't have a God. Again, when I say that hypothetically, I'm saying that I don't know what you say. Again, don't don't mock God by hypothetics, yes. okay? Because if you blaspheme God, wait, wait. No, if you blaspheme God by your hypothetical examples, that will go against your church I, as well. Wait, wait, wait. By my hypothetical examples, you're, you're the blaspheming one, God. No, no, no. You're, you're the one. You're the one blaspheming my God. I said God doesn't God have a God. Pizza. No, no. You're the one blaspheming my God, comparing my God to a pizza slice. I didn't compare him to pizza. Yes, you did. It's an analogy. No, no, no. It's you not, know, many Christians. That's still comparing. Oh, hold on. Using my. Hold on. Manuel, when the Christians. Yeah, those, they're heretics. They shouldn't be using. Calm that down. Analogy. When the Christians give the analogy of. They shouldn't. Yeah. Can at least. Yeah, go on, go on. When they say body, spirit, and mind. Yes, to give the example of the Trinity. Yeah. Are they blaspheming God? No, they are not. Good. Are they comparing it to a human being? What is the question? Uh, no. Yeah. Do you want her to interrupt? Okay. Again. Do you want her to interrupt? Does Allah have three daughters? Does Allah have three daughters? Can you tell her, be quiet? Does Allah have three daughters? Go away. Go away. Go away. Muhammad is the donkey of Allah. What a what a. Now one God. Wait, wait, what was the question again? Don't listen to her. We don't listen to. Even he doesn't want to listen to her as a Christian. And I agree with him. By the way, is that a is that Christian-like behavior? Exactly not. Why don't the Christians get together and tell us something? I know, but you know we advise our Muslim brothers. Okay, you should advise your Muslim brothers and sisters. Yeah, please. Anyway, what, what was the question? Yeah, so the question is uh, about, I think I lost the track as well. Anybody know? Oh, yeah, body, body mind, body mind yeah, yeah. So many people, many Christians use that as an example. You're saying that is not, ha that, yeah, that is not, heretical. why? Because, because you're comparing to a human being. No, because God also has one mind. God also has a soul. Does he have a body? Yeah, Christ. Christ, he ascended down. So you agree that, you, you, he, he wait, 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 flesh. wait. So the Father has a body? John 1, 1. Wait, wait, does the Father have a body? So they have different natures then? No, they don't have different Okay, natures. one has body, again, the other doesn't have body. Again, again, you're not listening. When, when God came down, 
The what? John 1 1. The did he change nature? Uh, he didn't change. Okay, did he have a human body before? No, he didn't. So he changed after nature? The, after the hypostatic. I know, that's after a change in nature. Given. That's not a change in nature. His divine nature never changed. His divine nature. Did his overall nature change? His overall nature never changed. So he never. Just because a human nature united with a divine nature doesn't necessarily. Emmanuel, listen. If Do you know what overall show nature means? Divine, wait, show me where the divine nature changed. Okay, first you need to understand what I'm saying yeah, yeah. before you go to the divine nature. So I understand from your Christology, yeah. you believe in the hypostatic union, yeah. which means Jesus has both divine and human nature. Yeah. Okay, so I'm not misrepresenting you. Good. Jesus has how many natures? One composite nature. Good. The Father has how many natures? He has one nature. Is that not different? One is equal to two or not? Again, is one equal again, to two? Again, 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 again. What? Regardless. I said about the overall when, nature. Overall nature when, of the when, Father is yeah, only one. The overall Christ nature of Jesus is two. One, one is Christ not equal to two. But you just said, you just admit it. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. We have already dealt with that. So I don't, I don't disagree. Exactly. And he just took on flesh. Manuel, listen. I don't disagree with what you're saying. Yes. But the where I'm disagreeing is telling you, after you admit it, that Jesus has two natures and the Father has one nature and one is not equal to two, that is where you don't seem to understand. Because I'm talking about the overall nature, not part of Jesus' yeah. nature. Let me explain again. God, Christ, came down the divine nature. He came down and he took on flesh. God took on flesh. Yes. That doesn't mean he still has that one divine will. Just because he gained an extra an extra nature, that human nature, doesn't mean God changed. Doesn't okay, so adding something, nature. adding no, no, no. something to an existing nature no, 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 doesn't no. change that? The human nature wasn't added to the divine nature. The human nature was no, no. added to the person. I'm not saying to the divine nature. Adding it to the personhood. Okay. Was the nature added to the person of Jesus? Yeah, he, God came down and took on flesh. That's fine. If the, if the nature, so Jesus, that person, the second person of the Trinity, before incarnation had how many natures? One divine essence, one nature. Good, so he had one nature. Am I right? After incarnation, how many natures did he have? After the incarnation, he had one composite nature, which consists of two natures. Don't, don't go. Just asking you how many. Good. That's fine. So before incarnation, the same person had one nature, after incarnation, the same person has two natures. Is one nature equal to two natures? Good. So it's a change in nature then. It's not a change in nature. If it was a change in nature, then his divine nature would have, would have changed. I never said his divine nature changed. Did I say that? You're, 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 Don't put words in my mouth. No, you're comparing a person to nature. What's that? You're comparing person to nature. You're saying that a person Pass. is nature. No, you're saying that a person is a nature. A okay. person and nature are two different things. I, that's the reason I said that one person has two natures. Yes. After incarnation, yes. that one person had only one nature before incarnation. Okay. Okay. So I'm not, no, I'm not negating anything you're saying. Right. I'm actually explaining to you that one nature of that person okay. has changed to two natures, and has, then the has, over. No, no, no. I never said that divine nature changed. So hear me out first. Right. Okay. I'm saying that that person acquired a new nature. Yes. yes? Now wait, wait. If a person acquires a new nature, which he did not have before, then we know that the overall nature is now two natures, not one. Just because the, because the son is not the father. How does that make any sense? Did I say because that? Because, no, Stop putting son, words in my mouth. Because, I never said the father is... This is what is you're saying. Wait, wait. This is what you're saying. Yeah, the nature. Because, uh, because the son, the person, Christ, the person, the person, the person, the person gained an extra nature, took on flesh, that means that the whole God had changed. That doesn't mean that. When did I say that? Stop putting words in my mouth. You are, you are, I'm only talking about that. one person here, not okay. nobody else. Right. Good. Okay. Which person am I talking about? Christ. Good. Did you not agree with me that before incarnation, Christ, yeah, one divine Christ had one nature before incarnation? Yes. Do you agree? Yes. Okay. Did he have two natures before incarnation? No. Good. After incarnation, how many natures did he have? He gained, he gained the heat of flesh. He, he had the human nature. Good. So how many natures is that? Two natures in one person. In one person, right? Yeah. No. Two natures in one person. Okay. Now the question is this. Is one nature equal to two natures? Is one nature equal to two natures? No, it's not. Good. Is the person now who acquired a new nature different from what he was before? No. So Christ was man before. Before incarnation, he was a man. So he did change then. The word became flesh. Your own Bible says this. Your own just Bible because, says the word became flesh. Wait, if the again, you're telling me that the person that was upon Jesus came down, 
took on flesh, yes, imposed upon it. He became a person. The person he changed. He became, and the person didn't change. If the person changed, then the divine nature would have changed. If the person changed, then the divine okay. nature would have changed. Is the, is the nature attributed to a person or does it stand by itself? Attributed to a person. Okay. How many natures were attributed to that person before incarnation? One. Good. After incarnation, how many natures are attributed to that person? Two. Thank you. Is that not a change? No, but off, off the, the hypostatic union anyway, this is diophysitism. In miaphysitism, we still believe that there's one composite nature. There's still one composite nature. So in that Did that person, composite nature exist before incarnation? There you go, so it's a change in nature. No, no matter how you change, spin it. It's not a change in nature. If it was a change in nature, no, no, then it's change, no, no. You're, no, you're saying that a person is a nature. A person is not a nature. No, no, I think you're misunderstood. When no, I say no, change in I nature. Know, just because he gained manual, human manual, nature doesn't manual. mean his divine nature. Here's where change. the mistake is. Show me where When I say change in nature, I'm talking about the overall nature of the person, not just partial nature. Okay, so show me where the divine nature changed. When did I say that? It's a strawman argument. I never said at any point the divine nature changed. The whole nature changed. I said the overall nature yeah, of Jesus now is two natures. Yeah, before, before, the, the, before, the yeah, yeah, before the overall nature was only one nature. Yes. After incarnation, the overall nature he is. Gained, he gained an yes. So let me okay, let me let me ask you this. This is water, right? Yes. Yes. In order to make tea, what do you do? Sorry. In order to make tea, what would you do? Right. Do you still call it water after that? After you made a tea? You call it water? Oh, oh after I made, when I made the tea. Yeah. No, I what would you call it? Tea. Did the nature change? I'll rest my case. No, but it still, it's still, it still has water. It still has water. Of course it has water. Oh, yeah, so I never change? denied it. So didn't change? Look, look. So I know. Listen, what change is the overall nature? How? But he still has water. There's still water. There is still water. You know, you, I think where you're... But there is still water. When did I say he didn't have water? I, I never say it doesn't have water. Why would you call it tea afterwards? Again, again, again. Why are you comparing? Because you the overall nature of that? this water change. Is it pure, wait? Is it pure water after you made it tea? Is it pure water? No, it's not pure water. Okay, so it's not just S2O anymore, right? No, but that's not, wait, that's, not, that's, not, that's not the case of the incarnation. That's not the Actually, case. it is. That, no, it's not. Okay, you know what the case of the, the incarnation is? Nature? Wait, wait. Yeah. The only difference between this analogy, which is a good analogy actually, but it's not 100% representing the hypostatic unit. Yeah. Because in the hypostatic, and I'm trying to be as accurate as po possible yeah. in order not to misrepresent your faith right. or your doctrine. Right. In the hypostatic union, it will never become tea because the water will remain separate. They don't mix. Whatever you added, the human nature and the divine nature don't mix. But the overall nature, which means he, the word became flesh. Do you see what I mean? What became flesh? Not the, not the divine nature. The person. The person became flesh. Very good, you got it. Yes, I agree with that. Bingo. There you go. So the overall nature, yeah. when before incarnation, he was not man, right? It's not man. He well, did not have a human nature. Good. The so after incarnation, he became a what? After the incarnation, he took on flesh. And he became what? Human. I'll rest my case again. Okay. He still has the divine nature. When did I say he doesn't? How many times have repeat this? So what changed? Okay. What changed? What changed? He still has that divine nature okay. that the Father and the Holy Spirit shares. I'll tell you what changed. Okay. Before incarnation, was Jesus immortal? Before the, he was. He, he's still immortal. So who died on the cross? He's still immortal. In, in, Right. Who Christ died? Did. I didn't ask you what Christ, died. Christ did. The person. Christ. Listen, listen. Christ. Listen, listen. Christ. If somebody is immortal, can they die? If somebody is what? If someone is immortal, yeah, they cannot die. They cannot die, right? Yeah. Who died on the cross? Christ. Right. In his humanity. That's in fine. Humanity. That's fine. I asked you who. I didn't ask you what. Okay. Who is the person? What is the nature? So, yeah, who died on the cross? Christ. Christ, right? In his humanity. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah. But when I ask you who, I'm not talking about the nature. I'm asking you the who. So when, for example, if somebody dies, let's say your, your friend died, okay? What do they say? They say that his flesh died or they say the person died? The person died. Good. Person. That's the question I'm asking you. From the three persons of the Trinity, which person died? Christ, the Son. The second person the of the Trinity, right? The second person of the Trinity. Good. If the person dies from the three, then which one is immortal and which one is mortal? 
his human nature died. Who? Not his. Not what? The son died in his humanity. If, Once if again, you could prove to me that his stick divinity to the who. died. If you could prove stick to the who, uh, not I'm the what. The person died, so the son okay. died. So from the, the, son, died. Okay. the son died in his humanity, okay. but not his divine nature. If his divine nature died, then what you're telling me now would work. He's not then I would divine nature. He's not okay, exactly. About. So his human nature died. So I'm asking the who, not the what. Yeah. Right now you're talking about the body of Jesus. No, I'm asking no. about the who. The person, the person, the person. Okay. The pro let me let me take you a step back. Oh, yeah. Okay. Take me a step back. Are the natures predicated on a person, or is it the other way around? The nature is predicated on the person. Can the nature exist just in the air like that? No, it, can't, it, can't. it is always connected to a person, right? Yes. Good. So the question is about who that nature is predicated. Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait. The question is about whom the per so when I ask you whom is the nature connected to or predicated to, it is the person, the second person of the Trinity, who has a hypostatic union, the two natures, the, the divine and the human, right? Good. Uh -huh. So I'm not misrepresenting you. You're not. But when I ask you who died, right. you always go back to what died. The question is never about what. But the human nature is part of the person. Right? I know. Yes. I know. So both, in fact, both natures are part of the person. That's why I say one composite nature. That's why I'm I never denied that. Exactly. That way, listen, listen. That's why I'm able to say that Christ, the Son, the second person of the Godhead, died on the cross. Oh, in his humanity. Okay, did that. Let me rephrase. Oh, the no, no, that's. Yeah. that's, that's uh, so let that me, the Father should have died. Let, let me rephrase. Let me rephrase the question. Did the Father die on the cross? Yeah. No. Good. Did, did the Holy Spirit die on the cross? No. Did the Son die on the cross? Yes. Okay. What do you call someone who dies? Yeah. Dead. Mortal. mortal. Oh, mortal, yes. Good. What do you call someone who does not die? Immortal. Okay, from the three, who but is immortal? All of them. Because they share one divine oh, essence. Okay. Go home and watch no, this no, clip. Because they share one Go divine essence. Go home. I didn't ask you about the essence. Because they share yeah. one So you wanted to ask something? I about the essence. No, no, the essence no, no. is part of Christ. Yeah, it's wrong. Wait, wait, wait. The essence is part of Christ. I just came back from prayer. Yeah. Tell him where is the Holy Spirit? Yeah. yeah. Where is it? They don't know. Wait, wait. You, you, wait, wait. Let me be honest. Do you, you know what death is, correct? Yeah. The soul leaving the body. Yeah. The soul doesn't die. Who experienced die. that? The soul doesn't die. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. Does that mean you are immortal? No, that doesn't mean you're immortal. Why? Your definition because is that. I have a human nature. Same way Christ had a human exactly. nature. Exactly. But alongside, he also had his divine nature. Once again, what is that? He, that means he's immortal. What is death? What is the meaning of death? Of what? Of what? Do you, need you just explained it to me. Oh, what does death mean? Like Christ died on the cross. No, yeah, what does know. death mean? Death. Oh, the term death, what does it mean? Oh, death. Oh, yes. the soul leaving the body. No problem. The soul leaving the body. The soul leaving the body. Did Jesus experience that? Did Jesus what? Did Jesus experience death? Yes, Jesus experienced death. Good. If someone experiences death, can they ever be immortal? No, obviously they cannot. Good, again, so Jesus is not immortal. Still has his divine I never said. Okay, he doesn't. so he is immortal okay. regardless. You know, I'll give you... Let, his human nature let me show you. Wait, let me show you. Wait, his human nature was mortal, I will agree. Who died? But his de Christ did. The human nature... If anyone who dies, they cannot be immortal. Okay, yes, his human nature was mortal. Can I ask him a question? Yeah, you're asking about the Holy Spirit. Brother, this no, is... No, no, I just want to say, what, is, what is the role of the Holy Spirit? I'll rewatch this again. I'll bring Ananda onto the live stream. But let me leave this with you when we join the live Yeah, oh, sure. Wait. I'm going to be in France. Okay. Oh, but you don't have to come. He can come we, if he wants. Oh, I'll, I'll ask him. Yeah, I'll ask Does him he need to come with you? No, I, I want to join with him. You can watch the video of this. I can't. Okay. Yeah. Look, again, let, let me just leave you with the story. I agree. The human nature is mortal. The divine nature is immortal. No, the person the is immortal. Normally, the person is immortal. Yeah. No, no, no. You, you do not say that your friend who died... Hey, wait, wait, wait. You do not say, my friend who died on that day, okay? He died because his flesh died. But his spirit always lives. By that, wait, wait. By that definition, would you call your your friend who died? Would you call him immortal? Good. So even if his spirit doesn't die, like the way Jesus' spirit never died, his divine spirit never dies, right? Yes. Even then, you wouldn't call Jesus immortal because he died. Just like you wouldn't call your friend immortal because his spirit also did not die. But his flesh died. So that's the reason I always say, go back. Okay, yeah. No, no, wait a minute. That's what I always say. You would say, I'll agree wait a minute. You would say, and you would agree with me, that when you say my friend died, you, Manuel, will never ever say his flesh died. 
No, I, 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 you said the person died. The person Good. Died. So, which was the person from the Trinity who died on the cross? Christ, the Son. There you and go. This is where me which means he's not immortal. This is, yeah, but this is where me. Just like your friend is not immortal, is, even though his spirit lives on. This is where mephysitism takes place. Yeah. The human nature and the divine nature both united together to one composite nature. So, regardless with whatever, we can say that Christ still died, but we can say that Christ died in his humanity without separating the nature. So then, by your by that definition, you should be immortal as well. Exactly. I don't have a divine. How does that make sense? But even, I don't have a divine. No, no, but even without Christ your did. hold on, even without your divine nature, does your spirit die? No, my spirit doesn't die. Good. Did Jesus' spirit die? No, his spirit good. Didn't so die. what's the difference between your death and his death? Exactly. There is no difference. I rest my case. But Thank again, you. Yeah, yeah. Let's let's again, end again, it there, again, my friend. Okay, but again, you're not listening. His spirit is still different. You're to just my, his spirit is different to my. It doesn't spirit, matter. Both your spirits didn't die. No, but you, Again, you keep you keep you keep forgetting about the divine nature, the divine nature and the human nature both united. Manual, so one, manual. But God is spirit. According okay. to the Bible, God is spirit. God is so, spirit. Okay, fine. Well, wait, wait. Yeah, yeah. So the Father, the Son, Holy Spirit. You believe they share the same essence. Yes. So if the spirit side um, was death, right? You believe the spirit side died. It doesn't die. It doesn't die. Okay. So okay, if Christ died, the second person shouldn't the Father have died and the Holy Spirit because they share the same essence. Again, that's why I'm saying that's why Christ took on flesh and his human nature. No, you say, you believe God is one essence. Died. You don't yes, say three God essences. Is one essence. I know, I know. So you don't say three essences. So I'm saying that if the second person of the Trinity died, that means the Father should have died and the Holy Spirit should have died How? because they his divine nature no, never died. No, because they possess the same essence. As the, the divine nature cannot die. It's not about the overall, essence. I'm, about so the overall the essence. essence. I'm talking about the overall, overall essence. Okay. I'm taking from a different angle right. because you believe that God has one essence not three essences yes. right so you believe that the Father and the Holy Spirit three distinct persons but they constitute the same essence yes. okay so if the second of if the second person of the Trinity the son died then the father should have died and the Holy Spirit should have died because they all possess the same essence but you can't say that Again, the, the, the essence is the divine nature, correct? I'm not denying that. I, 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 yeah. This is the did the, did the divine nature, in our perspective, did the divine nature die on the cross? You can't, you can't divide that. Did, uh, again, you can't divide divine nature and nature. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying yeah. I'm you would be a heretic if you divided it. You would be a heretic if you divide yeah, 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 It's called partialism, that's, that's, yeah? yeah, yeah, yeah. So, my so don't is, do that. So my point is that, look, you believe God is one essence. You don't say three essences, yeah, you don't yeah? Say three essences. but yes. one essence. But the three persons are distinct persons. The Father is not the Son, the Son is not the Father, the Holy Spirit is not the Father, the Son. That right. ancient creed, yeah. Right, exactly. So if you affirm that the second person of the Trinity died, that essence is dead, therefore the Father, the Son should have died okay, because they all possess the same no, essence. The divine nature didn't die. I'm not talking the about divine, divine nature, I'm talking, I'm talking about the essence, nature. Okay, you, let me, let me, the, the human manual, manual, I think we're going in circles. The Father doesn't have human essence. Yeah, yeah, I'm not talking about the, human, the, the, human side. I'm talking about the principle, I'm saying. Manuel, he's, I'm saying, he's, talking, he's, talking, about the, he's talking about the Christology and how it works. You need to understand how that works. So let me ask you this, you know, you, you mentioned the Godhead earlier. Does, does the flesh of Jesus, is that within the Godhead or is it outside the Godhead? Listen, listen to this. The question I'm asking him is that, in the Godhead, is the human nature of Jesus, is it within the Godhead or is it outside the Godhead? Good. So the essence is within the Godhead, right? Including the flesh. Ah, the penny dropped. The penny dropped. Okay, okay, fair point. Fair point, fair point, fair point. <laughs> you know what that means? Uh, okay, that, you know what that means? Yes. Yeah, if yeah. the flesh is within, then you can't yeah. say the flesh died, the nature, the spirit didn't die. The essence is always there within the Godhead. Yeah, if they're separate, but are they within the Godhead? Are the flesh is the flesh within the Godhead? There you go. So one of them died. So one of them died. They're all part of the Godhead. That's what I'm saying. Uh, you can't say the essence here. Yeah, 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 the second person yeah. died, that oh, means the Father, the Holy Spirit died. I don't want to miss a single second. Sorry, did you want to add something? No, no, no. You can tell me, no problem. No, I'm not getting it. You're a Christian, aren't you? You're a Christian. Hey, listen, listen. I'm not going to speak any further because I don't want to misrepresent anything. About time. You misrepresent. You know the worst misrepresentation is when you said the Father has a God. That is the worst misrepresentation. No, no, but we would no say Christian that. will agree we with that. Do you that. agree the Father has a God? Yeah, but they don't. They still show the Father. Yes. The Father is God. No, does he have a God? Listen, 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 listen. You're this kid God. here is saying he has a God. Listen, listen, listen. As a man, no, no. God does the Father have a God? Brother, listen. Yes or no? The Father is the Father. He's God. Brother, does he have a God? No. Actually, you understand my English? No, no, of course not. Good. Do you agree that the Father has a God? Yeah, but they don't. They don't have a. Does he have a God? There's only one God. 
He is God. But that's not the question. The question is, does the father have a God? They're not knowledgeable enough to answer this. Why don't condescend. Them? No Why condescend. Why are you asking them? Come on, these guys. Why Look, he's running away. They because know they know you messed up. knowledgeable. The they know you messed up. Listen, everybody else who's knowledgeable will agree with me. No one will agree with you. Yes, they would. Okay. Okay, Name Ananda, me one church father. Ananda, wait, wait. Name me one church father who says the father has a God. Uh, I can't get that okay. Even ask Orlando, I don't know who that guy is. Right. Ask him. If the guy with the long hair, he came to you in that corner one time, I can show you the video and he didn't want to speak to you. The guy with the long hair, he, didn't, no, he spoke to Sneakle. There's so many people with the long yeah, he hair. Spoke, he spoke to Sneakle. Yeah, so many people here. Show me his picture. Okay? Yeah. He said the, the father doesn't have a yeah, yeah, yeah. Get him on our live stream he's not, and ask he's him, he's ask him either to condemn your blasphemy that the father has a God. He'll agree with me. They don't, they don't have a... Is this recording? Is this recording? Is this recording? Is this recording? Why you got naked women on your, on your phone, man? Come on. What kind of a Christian are you? Stuck for Allah. I'm stuck for Allah. The guy's got porn on his... On his... This is Ananda. Soft porn. This is Ananda. I don't... Don't be dishonest. Are we blurry? Bro, the person's called Ananda. This is Ananda. This guy. I didn't know it was his name was Orlando. Did yeah, you know we, him, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Right, so oh, I, I've seen, seen him, I've seen him. Yeah, so you'll yeah. speak to him. Yeah, if he wants to come and speak he on our live stream. He will agree with me. Okay, no, what if he disagrees with you? That was okay, a, if he disagrees no with one, me, if he disagrees no, with me, no, repent, no, no, no true Christian will ever say the Father has a God. Exactly. No one will do that. Okay. Again. By the way, will you, will you admit on live stream that you were wrong? Yes, I will. I'm, I'm the gonna be the, That's I'll what I like about this kid, you know? And I'll repent for No problem, no problem. Okay, by the way, if the Father had a God, and the son had a God, then who is the Holy Spirit's God? Both of them? Or one of them? <laughs> listen, listen. If the father has a God, who is the son according to you? And the son has a God, who is the father according to you? Then who is the God of the Holy Spirit? The Holy Spirit is also the God of the Son and God of the Father. And it's the same thing. <laughs> it's modalism. It's heresy. How is that heresy? That's, That's blasphemy. Is that it's the Holy Spirit of God. It's rebellionism, modalism. Guys, can you guys stop him before he doesn't mess us up? It's a, uh, it's a train wreck uh, now. Uh, it's a train wreck. Let me clarify something. That, that, the person that he said that was, you know, that was porn star and everything, it wasn't. It was Say again? The, per, the, the female that you mentioned. <laughs> No, no, I wasn't joking. I just, I just, uh, it wasn't, just, a, it wasn't porn. I don't want bad reputation. Of yeah, yeah. Me. That's right. No, no, no. Of course not. It's, 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 from, it's YouTube, what do you call that? Suggestions, yeah? First day 5 p.m. again. Inshallah. No problem. Always a pleasure. Jazakallah khairan. Assalamu alaikum. Rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.